What's up stoners, Cupins here and on today's video I'm going to talk to you about why I don't use Hempwick. This is something I get a lot of comments on, messages, people suggesting that I try it out. Oh, you gotta check out Hempwick. And hear me when I say I have used a ton of Hempwick. I have used roll after roll, miles of the stuff. I've tried every brand, every different thickness, all the different kinds of Hempwick I have tried. I used to be a huge advocate for Hempwick and I would try to get people to use it all the time. It's about off all the the generic talking points like oh you get rid of the nasty butane taste and it burns at a lower temperature so you get more terps and it's better for the environment i used to be that guy i was the hemp wick guy there was probably like a two-year period where i didn't light a bowl with a regular lighter it was always hemp wick for those of you that don't know hemp wick is essentially a string made out of hemp fibers that's coated in beeswax it's basically a super skinny candle that you light and then use the flame from this to light your bowl not all hemp wick is the same you will find some really thin, some really thick hemp wick. It ranges from like a half a millimeter to two millimeters in thickness. Some have a light coating of beeswax and some have a lot of beeswax that even drips off when it's lit. But I've used tons of hemp wick. I've tried dozens of brands and they all use some of the same marketing gimmicks to make you think their product is better than it is. Almost every brand will be labeled as organic hemp wick. It'll say it on their packaging or their listing online in bold letters, which I found in most cases, they're only referring to the hemp wick and not the beeswax they used to coat it. And in a lot of cases, you'll see something like coated in 100% natural beeswax, which means they're using an inorganic beeswax. And I actually looked it up. Apparently, it's nearly impossible to produce a legitimate organic beeswax. And a lot of the stuff that's out there labeled as organic beeswax is just bullshit and they're lying about it. But we, we don't need to get into that. I'm not a bee expert. But anyway, some of the generic talking points I mentioned earlier that I wanted to address are things like, I used to say that, oh, it gets rid of the nest nasty butane taste and you're getting all natural delicious hemp flavor. A thousand percent no. A thousand percent. Most butane that you use from a lighter is multi-refined and doesn't have a flavor to it. But the string you're using adds hemp material to the combustion, which does add a flavor and it's a nasty string flavor. Mmm, it's better. No, it's not. It tastes like string now. Another thing I used to say is that it burns at a lower temperature, helping you save all the terps and you get the full flavor on your hits. While hemp Hempwick does burn at a lower temperature than a regular lighter. I can assure you that none of your terpenes are surviving the 1500 degrees that your wick is burning at. Most terpenes have a boiling point of under 400 degrees and don't survive combustion anyway. If you actually want to taste the terps from your flour, you're going to use a flour vaporizer. You're not going to do low temp bong rips. And just think about how you light a bowl for a second, right? Hit your lighter, you put the flame on the top of the bowl, and when you got it lit, you pull the flame away, right? You're still pulling for another few seconds to make sure you combust the rest of the flour in there. The way I smoke a bowl is I'll light the top and then it burns all the way through the bottom. Because hemp wick burns at a lower temperature and anyone that uses hemp wick will know this, it takes a little bit longer to light the bowl. You kind of have to hold the string there for just a little extra second or so just to get the bowl lit. Which means that every extra moment you're just getting additional carcinogens from the string that you're burning. Yummy, string terps. Also, most people get these big rolls of wick that last a long time. They sit around for weeks and months and it just collects dust because it's sticky on the outside. Like this one right here, I don't actually smoke out of it, but it's literally covered in dust. Yummy, dust terps. One of the last talking points I used to shard out of my mouth on a regular basis is, oh, the plastic from the lighter is gonna end up in a landfill and you're just gonna burn all this string so it's better for the environment. If you have at least an IQ of two and you ponder on that for just a second, you'll realize the amount of time that it takes you to light a bowl with the lighter is almost identical to the amount of time it takes to light the hemp wick with the lighter. So you're gonna use the lighter just as much, but now you got another step to do. And does that step make your hits taste better? No, absolutely not, they're lying. Stop smoking string, follow my socials, and have yourself a super nice day.